Hello, my fantastic friends! Welcome in another watercolor tutorial. First thing you want to do is to prepare the drawing and of course secure the paper to a stiff board. So let's see the materials you will need and the materials I'm using here are pretty much all from Delaroni and Kemsen. I will talk about these materials in a new series of videos that I'm going to release really soon, so stay tuned for that. And of course you will find a complete list of the materials down here in the description box. I'm using the paper which is called Vidalon, which is by Kensen, and I absolutely adore this paper. I have been talking about this in a video which you will find clicking here or down here in the description box. So, first step is to prepare the colors. So you want to just watch at your picture and see all the principal colors and prepare them in a ceramic palette like this. Second step, we are going to make a wet on wet technique, which means that you need to wet the paper with some clear water and for that, in this case, I suggest you to use a pointy brush so that you can be much more precise because you have to avoid the leaves. Vidalon paper is amazing for wet on wet, so you can just put a lot of water on it and nothing happens. So. Go for it! So now you would just want to start painting and I began with this blue here which is a cool blue and I'm not putting it all over the paper I'm just putting it like in random spots as you can see because I want the white of the paper to create some light points So now you want to add a second blue, and I'm using a cobalt blue here, and um, I'm adding it where in the original picture I see the shadows. Then I add a little bit of green to my blue and with this color I am starting to paint all the branches uh, in the background. Now, as you can see, I uh, turned my green into a brownish, warmer green and I'm using this to 
um, just uh, emphasize more the branches on the background. Then I made that color even darker by adding some red because if you watch closely to the picture you can see that there's some red in the background. And you also want to add a little bit of pure alizarin red here and there. So when you're happy with your background, just let it dry or dry that using an hair dryer. So now you want to paint the leaves and you want to paint them one by one and again you want to start with the wet on wet so just um, put some clear water on the first leaf. I'm starting here with a very light yellow, this is a lemon yellow, and I am painting all over the first leaf with that color. Then I added a darker yellow, this is a dark cadmium yellow, and then I add the red. Just a tiny bit of color at the time. When your painting is still really wet, you want to just draw the veining of the leaf um, with a smaller brush using a pointy brush and then dry that up. So now you want to just repeat the same process for the second leaf and for the third and for all the other leaves in the picture. I'm not showing you all of them because the video would last like forever. But if you want to see an extended version of the video, just let me know and I will upload it for you. For this second leaf here, I'm using also a darker color, like a um, burnt sienna color, using a smaller brush. Again, when it is still wet, you want to do the veining of the leaf. And this part here, which in the picture looks like it's black, you don't want to paint it black. Uh, you want to paint it a very dark brown, but not black, because black is too graphic. So when you painted all the leaves, you just want to paint the little branches, uh, which in the picture are really, really dark, 
And again, you don't want to use black, you want to use a very dark color, like a very dark brown. And for the final details and the final touches of light, you want to use a little bit of white gouache, which is this thing here. It's it's like a tempera, and you want to just put a little bit of that here and there to create a little light spots. But make sure you don't overdo that because otherwise it will look really ugly. So when it's finished, remove the tape using the heat of the hair dryer, and I highly recommend you to do that. And here we go! This is the final result, I hope you liked it, and if you did, please leave some thumbs up and comments down here, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Ciao!